So today I'm going to show you how to create a free invoice on your Novo business bank account step by step so you can understand how it all functions, how you can utilize it to make it look really nice and professional to send to your customers. We're going to take you on the back end, the front end like this right here and explain all of it step by step for you. Now, as we go through this, make sure you hit that follow button down below so you can keep on learning and growing when it comes to utilizing software for your small business. And I'm going to show you the back end of actually being able to create this as well. So just a few little details here. You have your logo, you have your company name, we have our company address, the customer we're sending it to, as well as their email address, what invoice number it is, the issue date, the due date, if we wanted it to you know, be charged at the same day or like a net 30. We also have the item and then some description as well. And this is again, the front end. I'm gonna actually go ahead and slide down just a little bit here so we can see what the bottom end of this invoice looks like. Now, I do have to kind of do cuts on here because of course we are blocking off private information when it comes to this. So we just wanted to make sure we go through this properly here for you. So again, this is the bottom half of the invoice that a client would actually see. Again, they have the item, the total, the quantity, if there's multiple of the same item, the amount due as well as how they can actually pay for this invoice, which for our example here, we're actually just having an ACH, which is that bank transfer, but we can actually connect other means for them to be able to pay. And I'll show you on the settings page on how this all works. And then if everything looks good, you can either send this if you wanted to over here, or you can send it, save it as a draft for later down the road. So now what we're gonna do, and we're going to move over into the back end of this as well. So you can actually see how this all plays out. So you can look at all the different settings you can change when it comes to making yours look a little bit different than mine in case you have different requirements or needs when it comes to sending out this kind of invoice. Okay, so now we're here in the settings for invoices, and this is going to be on the left hand side of our screen that says invoices, and this is where it's going to take us. Now for our demo account here, this is obviously just going to be pretty empty. But as you continue to fill this up, you're going to see this obviously populate with all of your invoices that you're sending out. And of course, you can see on the top right hand side area here, you're going to see where it has settings where it's going to be like the defaults, so to speak. And then you're gonna have an area where you can do new invoices. Now, what's really cool too, just in case maybe a question was popping up for you, you can do reoccurring series as well too. So if you have a certain customer that you're just gonna be charging a certain dollar amount every single month, you can definitely do that as well. And then the setting page here, you can actually search for your invoices. So as they're you know getting larger and larger, and it's harder to kind of just scroll through here, you can go by customer name, email, or invoice number if you know that number directly. Now you can see here it is toggled between invoice number, the customer, the send date, the status if it's still overdue, which is really great for us to know, as well as the total amount. So now what we're going to do is actually go ahead and I'm going to go through the settings first and then we're going to create the invoice just so you can see how we're able to structure ours on the back end first and then we're going to go and create that new invoice. All right, so here in the invoice settings page, the first one that comes up is going to be our business information. Now because we already have an account with Novo, this is gonna go ahead and just show us the options when it comes to our business names. So we're gonna to just toggle our current business for this demo account. Then it's gonna have an email address, a phone number if we wanted to have that attached, as well as our billing address, which includes our address line, our city, our state, and our zip code. All of this will be visible and available for the client that you're sending this invoice out to. So just something to keep in mind. Obviously, if everything looks good, you just click on save here. But now we're gonna go into the other options um, through this so we can see the different settings. All right, and now in this section is going to be for the customers, pretty self-explanatory, but here we're gonna have the customers that we have as well as being able to add new customers. And you can see here, this will be able to add their name, their address or email as well, or any other information that we wanna have when it comes to that customer. So now next up here is going to be for payment methods. This is going to be how you can add them to your invoices. And what's really cool, and I'll show you here in a moment too, is you can actually go ahead and choose which payment methods work for different clients. So here's an example for you. So first and foremost, we're gonna have the actual Novo account, which is the ACH transfer and actually being able to do checks. So it's gonna be connected to your Novo account. Then you're gonna be able to have your Stripe account on here if you have one, as well as a PayPal or even a Square account. So when you add these in, you're gonna be connecting to those accounts and then you're gonna give access to those clients that you want to have that payment go through in that direction. And I'll show you what I mean by that here in just a moment once we go through and actually create a brand new invoice and how this all works for the payment methods. Now let's go ahead and go into the invoice style and I'll show you just a little bit more on the back end. Now here in the invoice style, this is where you're gonna be able to upload your company logo. It's always gonna go on the top left and then you can also do a header color. So you can actually go ahead and switch this out. It's just a little line on the top of your actual account. Uh, you can actually toggle onto the rainbow here and put in whatever actual code you have for your colors. 
and then you can click on save. Now this is just an example here of what one of them can look like. So again, we're gonna go ahead and actually now create our actual invo invoice for this example so you can see all the questions it's gonna ask you and how it's gonna set up for you. All right, so here we went back to the invoice page and now we're gonna go ahead and tap over to new invoice and I'm gonna show you how this all works here on the back end. So this is gonna be where you're gonna go ahead and create your entire new invoice. So first and foremost, if you already have a customer, if you tap over here, it's gonna bring kind of like a drop down menu to be able to choose the client you're gonna be working with. You can also add a new recipient, which will then be added to your overall customers that you can choose from. Down here, you're gonna be able to go ahead and choose an invoice number. So if you have a different sequence here, it does require four numbers, so at, at minimum, so just keep that in mind. And then you can toggle right over here for that reoccurring invoice. Now we talked about that earlier. If you have a certain dollar amount, you can just go ahead and do that. And you'll be able to choose how often you're going to be sending out this invoice. We're gonna uncheck that for this example. And then here you're gonna be able to have it sent either immediately or on a specific date, and it'll tell you when it's gonna be scheduled out. Usually it's gonna be in the morning ET time. And then as far as when it's due, depending on your contract or how you're kind of working with this client, either due upon receipt or you can have it due by, you know, like net 30, net 60, or you can have it on a spe specific date to be able to have that run through. So for this example, we're going to go ahead and say we're setting this immediately and it's due upon receipt. And then in here, you can go ahead and put whatever notes you want for the customer. They will see this. And so you want to make sure that you have anything you want to tell them to just have that shared in here. Like, hey, just like our contract said, we're doing a net 30 for the due date as an example. Now, from down here, this is going to be the billable items. When you toggle over to the new item, if you already have some, something that you utilized in the past, this will pre-populate for you as an option. But you can go ahead and type in anything you might need. The price that you're going to be charging for this as well. So if it's you know, like $100, you're going to go ahead and toss that in. The quantity and then any descriptions you might want to have for that particular item. And if you have different items here, you can go ahead and click on add item and it'll just toggle a new one. You can also delete it if needed. Now down here too in the subtotal, you can actually see it's going to have the option to go ahead and add shipping, add any discounts, or even do any tax that are needed for this as well. And then it'll show the full total for them down there. Now here where we're going to have payments earlier, we showed the different options where you can connect like your Stripe, you can connect your PayPal. If you have those connected, you can go ahead and toggle these as options. And then when the client is going through to how to pay, they'll have different options. If you just want one particular option, you can just have that one checked, but you of course will need something checked on here to be able to send that over if you wanted to, or if you have a different method, you can have these all unchecked and then you will be good to go. So here you can see you can have a check option. It'll tell you, it'll tell them your address. Here it'll tell them your account and routing number if you want them to have it directly ACH, or you can have that with the debit or credit card. And of course there are gonna be those fees, but that's strictly from Stripe, nothing from Novo as far as a cost for running this invoice. Now, here's one of my favorite things when it comes to the invoice as well, too, is that you can actually set reminders and you can edit this as well, too. The default is three days after the due date and then also seven days after the due date. But if you hit the edit button here towards the right, you're going to kind of cover it up here, but you're going to see over here on the right hand side, you can change the number of days that that gets sent out on the due date. And you can also send a reminder as well, too, additionally on what they already have on here as well. So you can do that and hit save and then it'll add that in there. It's a really nice feature so that way you don't have to sit there and be like constantly remembering yourself to send out reminders. It'll do that for you. And then you can see here any additional options. You can go ahead and upload any files that you have and you kind of documents that you need for like, you know, like a receipt or a proof or anything like that as well. And you can have this invoice email to yourself if you would like. And then once everything is looking good, you could technically have it sent once you have everything filled out. It's just blocked off right now because we don't have a client on the actual uh, invoice for this example, but then you can click on preview beforehand to just see what this looks like before you send it out, which is what we showed her earlier in this video. And as a reminder, this is that preview invoice that we were showing you earlier at the beginning of the video. When everything is pre-populated, it'll give you the option to come in here and see this complete preview. Now, once you actually have this invoice sent out, just like from clicking over here on the right-hand side, you're gonna be able to, of course, cancel if needed to, or you can even make sure that you mark it as paid once that customer has paid for their invoice. So now that you have your invoice settings all set up and ready to go when it comes to utilizing it here on Novo, I actually want you to keep on learning ways to manage your small business. So actually check out our video right over here for the best free small business bookkeeping software.